We have a lot of new items in my inventory and a bunch of them are from the 2021 train collection. They're all restricted, so you know what we're doing today. Welcome back to another trade-up video. Today, we're going for the USPS whiteout in actually two different conditions, but we are going for factory new as well. I have three trade-ups, two of them going for minimal wear and the last one going for factory new. But quickly before we get into the video, reminder that I'm buying skins for cash and selling buff balance for cash. So if you want to sell your skins or buy buff balance, direct message me on discord and i'll cash you out or sell you buff balance as soon as possible so let's see the first trade up it is gonna be this one it is a seven three split using three field tested skins from the 2021 train collection and seven minimal wear fillers make sure you keep the average flow around 0.11 to make sure the mac 10 propaganda comes in factory new if you can get the float a little lower the ak phantom disruptor from the prisma 2 collection would come in factory new as well and that would be some more money but i didn't really bother to do that so we have two attempts at this trade up it is 30 percent to hit and let's see if we can hit at least one of the two. It would be very nice. All the train skins in this one are profit. So here we go. USP whiteouts, MAC-10 propaganda, the Moss Meltdown in three, two, one. Train collection. Yes, let's go. That's a FAMAS meltdown. We hit the 30% on the first trade up. That is factory new 0.04. It still looks like Garbo. Look at it. That's factory new. Are you looking for cheap low float skins for trade ups? Check out today's sponsor, Skins Monkey. It's the most convenient trading bot site where you don't have to overpay for low floats. I found this 0.08 Opelite build and this 0.09 M4 Tooth Fairy, and the tradable M4 was delivered to my inventory instantly. If you apply code Tech Savvy, you get a 5% deposit bonus, and you also get a five dollar trading bonus when you start trading don't worry if you don't have any skins just head over to freebies and you'll find three giveaways all the way up to a gut knife gamma doppler so use my link in the description to start finding deals on low float skins today that is wonderful let's move on to the second attempt this is the same exact trade up slightly different filler collections but hopefully we managed to hit the train 2021 collection on this one as well in three two one 2021 train collection please Nope, that's a Mag 7 Justice. Ooh, that's really shiny, actually. I didn't know this was this shiny in CS2. Is this gonna come in factory new? No, it's minimal wear. It's gotta be a good float, though. Oh, never mind. That's just the average float. Point 11. This is terrible. This is probably the worst outcome, but we have one more big boy trade up. And it's gonna be this guy. It is a 6-4 split, actually. Four train skins in factory new with around floats of 0 0.02 to 0 0.015 and six fillers from random collections with floats of 0 0.010, roughly. Some of them are even double O's. Some of them are 0 0.011s. But the average float needs to be under 0 0.0135. This is gonna get you the USP whiteout in factory new, which is gonna yield you a profit of over $200 after Steam tax. And you're gonna break even on the MAC-10 propaganda in the FAMA meltdown but that's not considering float overpay these are double lows so they will get some float overpay i'm not exactly sure how much but this straight up is very profitable if you get the inputs at the right prices as always i overpaid for mine just to make sure that i can get them in a timely manner but in theory if you camp the market for long enough you can get these inputs for market prices and then the trade up is really good but here we go usps wide out in factory new incoming in five four three Two, one, USP whiteout factory new, 13.33%. No, I didn't get baited. It's a white pistol, but I did not get baited, unfortunately. That would have been funny. This should be double O, I believe. Yeah, double O seven eight. So that's worth a bit of overpay. It is not good whatsoever. I lost around $20 this video, but honestly, it could have been much better. That's pretty much it. Let me know how it goes if you try it, especially if you try the factory new one. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.